Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Latola, the Director of Clinical Education at Glidewell Labs. In any given month, we receive over 100,000 crown and bridge impressions, and many of these impressions have issues, specifically tissue issues. Most of the compromised impressions that we see are 99% adequate, but the inadequate 1% is right at the margin. Why is this area so difficult to capture? Well, it's not the tooth, it's the tissue. An unhealthy tissue will bleed at the slightest touch and make a great impression virtually impossible to take. 12 years ago, I started filming all of my cases and there was simply too much bleeding. I emailed my mentor, Dr. Gordon Christensen, and I asked him why the tissue on his videos didn't look like a crime scene. He said his staff put all Crown & Bridge patients on a rinse called Tooth & Gums Tonic two weeks prior to the preparation date. They continued to rinse with the tonic for the two weeks that the temporaries were on, and then continued to rinse for two more weeks after cementation. Now to be honest, I didn't think my patients would follow through. That had been my experience with Paradex when I watched one of my well-meaning hygienists sell a lot of it to patients only to have them return it or secretly tell me that they threw it away. Gordon also mentioned that CRA had just finished a fresh breath study comparing 14 products to mask breath odors and that tooth and gums tonic had won. I was sold. After a successful restorative case, we talk a lot about what crown material was used, what we cemented it with, but it's clear that one of the unsung heroes in these cases is tooth and gums tonic. In fact, let's take a look at a recent clinical case of mine that will be the ultimate test for the tonic. And as we get started with this clinical case, I think it's well worth pointing out the main benefits that I like about tooth and gums tonic. It's uh, alcohol free. It's non-staining, um, well-tolerated compared to chlorhexidine, and it's antimicrobial, and all these things are going to come into play, especially on a difficult case like this. So we're going to be replacing those two PFM crowns on teeth number eight and nine, and you can tell the tissues look a little bit iffy here, but look what happens as we actually put the retractors in. We, we brushed against the gingiva with the retractors uh, placing them, and, it, and it's almost started to bleed. And as I place some of our topical hair, look at that. You can see on tooth number nine, it's already starting to bleed. Now, this is the type of tissue that is really going to be a great challenge for tooth and gums tonic. And I've already said that I'm not going to impress on this day. I just know that I can't do it. The tissue is just too unhealthy to do it. And so the test is, can tooth and gums tonic get these gingiva into shape in two weeks? And here we are two weeks later, we're actually packing the cord. We pull the cord out of there. Look at that nice wide open sulcus. I can see the margin of my preparation and down in the sulcus next to the margin. We have no bleeding, you can tell, because you can see we've got a nice impression there of the retraction cord in the bottom of it. And then two weeks later, after two more weeks of rinsing with the tooth and gums tonic, you can see we've got a very healthy tissue as we place those two crowns into place. In fact, we can take the after pictures that day. That's how healthy that tissue is. And so most of the time we like to have two weeks even before the preparation to be able to whip the tissue into shape. And we didn't have that here. So we didn't give tooth and gums tonic the normal time that we give it. So in the two weeks that from the when we started by taking the crowns off, having the patient rinse until we took the impression, it was able to calm that tissue to the point where we were able to get a great impression and two great looking restorations. It's clear there's more to restorative dentistry than just great looking crowns. You need to have gorgeous, healthy tissue as well. And for the last 12 years, tooth and gums tonic has been how I achieved that gorgeous, healthy tissue. If you haven't had the opportunity to try it, order a few bottles, try it yourself, let your hygienist try it, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Thanks for your time and your continued commitment to quality dentistry.